Hey everyone, Cam here. I've been researching a string of bizarre murders in Nassau County where victims hallucinate die, and then their bodies are found with bones broken in impossible ways. Today we're going to explore the unexplained death of 16-year-old Mackenzie Robinson. On July 27, 2017, 16-year-old Mackenzie Robinson was found dead in her bathroom, having drowned in only a sink full of water. Her neck was twisted 180 degrees, and blood was pouring out of her mouth and eyes. Mackenzie was an active vlogger. Of like how hot you want it to be. Talking about back to school outfits. Cause like everyone has like different hair. But was known around Garden City Christian Preparatory School for being just as much a bully as she was for her makeup tutorials. She was known for viciously trolling her fellow classmates online. And one classmate described her as a mean girl on steroids. Mackenzie's mother had multiple nanny cams set up around their house. This happened moments before Mackenzie's death. What did she see here? This next video found on her phone after her death is extremely disturbing. So, once your sink is filled with water, you just want to make sure you're... <laughs> Mackenzie's main bullying target was 16-year-old Aaron Saunders. This looks like the same girl who yelled at drug dealer Chris Bones Wright. You can't be selling this to kids, especially not my brother. It's Dude. not acceptable. She's the daughter of one of our moms in Mothers Against Grass. Is it a coincidence that Kiara has connections to both of our murder victims? But even if Kiara was somehow involved, how could she have twisted Chris's limbs without even touching him? Or make Mackenzie drown herself without laying a finger on her? and the nanny cam footage didn't capture anyone in Mackenzie's house. I'm gonna do some more research on Kiara. I think she might be the key to unraveling this mystery. Until then, keep your eyes out, your heads down, and your ears open. Later. Watch new scary vids every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday.